Jim Jones 3000 here, and it's time for um, a breakdown of, of my uh, recording uh, rig, and, and also talking about how you could build a home studio for $333 or less. Um, and it's not one of those paid promotion uploads. Uh, these are things that I actually bought off of Amazon and eBay um, that I actually use every day. Um, and they're basically the the bare essentials that you need. There are five things that you um, absolutely have to have as starter equipment. Um, quick side note, this is assuming that you already have a PC or laptop or at least access to one. It's 2020. I mean, I don't know anybody without a some kind of uh, personal computer. Um, that stuff aside, the five things that you need um, for for production um, and recording, engineering um, for your home studio. Uh, once again, less than three hundred and thirty-three dollars. Um, money, uh, real money. That um, it w this wasn't guesswork. Um, I paid less than that for these things. Um, uh, there's reviews to some of the thing the items below. Um, many other reviews to come. But into the five things. Uh, one, a MIDI keyboard. Two, a DAW or digital audio workstation. Three, a microphone. Four, an audio interface. And five, um, active speakers, like active bookshelf uh, speakers. Um, so let's get right into what I have for all of these things. Uh, headphones are also a nice thing to have, but... Uh, I'm, I just used the Apple ones that came with my iPhone. Um, once again, this is a cheap setup, uh, the bare necessities. Um, number one, the MIDI keyboard. Um, I actually use an Akai MPK-25. Um, it has the 25 keys, and it also has the uh, 12 drum pads that... Uh, you could assign different voicings to. Um, I don't have a review of this piece of equipment yet. Um, there's so many things it could do. Um, it, it could take hours to do a, a, a proper review. Um, but I will do a, in the near future, a, um, a quick rundown of, of its features. Um, as far as price, um, you could easily find these uh, Reverb, eBay, um, you know, $75, um, possibly less. Um, next going on to the digital audio workstation. Um, I use FL Studio 20. Um, it connects with the MIDI keyboard, uh, for the voicings of the keys. It comes pre-packaged with, uh, several packages, several voicings. Um, you could program, uh, it has hundreds of, of tr uh, drum voicings that you could uh, program to the pads on the MPK-25. Uh, um, great for live recording, um, great for the basic engineering and mix down of the audio tracks um, from, from start to finish. Uh, once again, it, it's great for creating loops. I, I do it all the time. Um, has many after effects, many production production effects. Um, you know, it already on board. Um, this was ninety nine dollars, which was ninety nine dollars that was well spent um, years ago. Uh, so, you know, a great investment because it's absolutely crucial. Um, the next thing, um, a microphone. Um, for live recording or, you know, vocals. Um, this is the Blue Snowball mic. It's a condenser mic. Um, has three settings. Um, USB powered. Uh, so is the uh, Akai. Just plugs in via USB. Um, have a review of this uh, below. Um, under my old channel. Um, but... I do have a review of this linked below. Um, the next crucial item um, is the audio interface. Um, this is the Behringer Euphoria UM2. Um, has two inputs, um, 
has a headphone jack. Um, basically, this works as the interface between any live instruments you have that you could plug in, uh, you know, via jack, and uh, your computer and digital audio workstation. It also acts as the interface between the laptop and the uh, the the next item um, on the list, the active speakers. Um, this is for live playback. Uh, you know, once again, we're, we're talking about an under three hundred and thirty-three dollar budget. Um, these were thirty-nine ninety-nine. Um, once again, they're active, so they're powered. Uh, these get plugged into the wall. Um, you know, they also, you know, RCA jacks on the back. Um, I have a full review of these linked below as well. And if you wanted to know, this is what, it's a two-way speaker and that's what they look like without the cover. Uh, so those are the, the five crucial things that you need. Um, I'm also going to provide uh, a link to my SoundCloud um, and a lot of the, the music videos on this channel, actually all of them, you know, as far as the music that was recorded, um, it all involved these five things that I talked about um, today. Once again, like how you could, you know, really build a home studio for you know, less than 350 bucks, you know, or in this case, uh, less than $333. Um, highly recommend looking at, you know, eBay and, you know, Reverb, uh, as far as finding these things pre-owned or open box, things like that. Um, you know, I, I mentioned before all the audio tracks, uh, on my SoundCloud and, you know, both my YouTube channels were, um, 99% of the music was made with the things I just mentioned. Um, once again, you know, I, I think I, I believe I spoke before, this is an expandable system. So, you know, later on, uh, you know, I, I play a lot of the bass, you know, live off of a, a, a Squire jazz bass, which is also inexpensive. Um, a review of it's linked below as well, but that's not part of this $333 I'm talking about. Um, it's something that you could, it could be used to record, um, you know, directly through the uh, audio workstation or uh, live via microphone. Um, whatever live instruments um, you choose to incorporate in, in the future. Um, but there you have it. Uh, this is the under $350 um, home studio that I use daily um, for good or ill. Uh, rock on. Thank you very much for watching my uh, crappy upload. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, you know, please subscribe um, and you know, click on one of my other videos wherever it may be. Also, I have a, an old channel with like hundreds of uploads of, of random things. Uh, you know, please subscribe to it as well, wherever it may be. Um, thank you very much.